beautiful audience out there. Welcome to our beautiful show, our beautiful talk show, where we talk about long distance relationship and we share cultural difference together. Welcome to the show from Boston yeah. House. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for being being our beautiful audience, our beautiful subscribers. We love you all. Please, as you all know, my name is Sam. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. Subscribe on the on our YouTube channel from Virtuals to Vals24. That is the name of our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe on our Facebook page. We are also on the Facebook page from Virtuals to Vals. You know, the advantage of you subscribing, it is when we drop a video, you can easily be notified that we just drop a video. Um, let me go straight to the business. Um, what I bring to the table today um, is still about our Yoruba, you know, how to pronounce Yoruba, uh, the meaning of some, um, the meaning and the interpretation of some Yoruba words when they pronounce it to you. So, in, we are using this medium, you know, to teach you guys to learn how to speak in Yoruba and also when you, your husband or a colleague or his friend, friend speak to you in Yoruba, you can easily understand what they are saying and also you can also communicate back to them in Yoruba so they will be surprised that, you know, you are learning our language. I believe you can do it because English is also my second language. I also learn it. So for me to be able to learn English, so you will be able to learn Yoruba as well. And uh, you know, Yoruba is very um, language that is easy to pronounce, to learn, because uh, it is alphabetical language, just like A, B, C, D, just like, you know, English too is A, B, C. So if you can spell English and uh, you can spell Yoruba, um, then you, be, you will be able to pronounce it. So let me go straight to the business. Number one. Uh, what I have on my um, on my list here, we have um, Ele Dumare. Ele Dumare. Uh, what does Ele Dumare mean? Ele Dumare simply means God. Ele Dumare means God. That is what Ele Dumare means. How do we spell Ele Dumare? It's spelled he, hell, he, D U M A R E. Ele Dumare. He, Ele Dumare. E is pronounced he, he in Yoruba, he instead of e in, Yor in English, it's gonna be like e in Yoruba, it's gonna be like a so he le do marry. So you know, just take your time to pronounce it, you're going to pronounce it right. He le do marry in English, it simply means God. Number two, we have Adura, Adura simply means prayer, that is the meaning of Adura, prayer. So how do we spell Hadura? It's spelled A D U R A. Ha du ra. So he is pronounced ha in in um, Yoruba. He. If you want to pronounce he in Yoruba, it's gonna pronounce it's gonna sound like ha. So let's pronounce Hadura again. Ha du ra. In English, it simply means prayer you understand so let me make it more easier for you guys to pronounce it let's you know adra is spelled a d u r a that is the spelling of adra okay let me first remove the a in front first it will be dura you know it's just like you want to pronounce dura cell like dura cell battery you understand dura dura cell so now if you want to pronounce adra let's remove the cell out of the dura cell you know it will be dura right so now let's add the a in front of the dura it's going to be like ha dura so that is you just pronounce it ha dura so it simply means prayer so we also have number three omi omi simply means water you know um john give me some water john give me omi that simply means omi it simply means water So how do we spell Omi? Omi is ho hem hai. Ho hem hai. So Omi simply means water. Omi water. That's the meaning. So we also have Mofi Okwe Fun Ele Dumare. 
you know, I told you uh, not long that Elodumon simply means God. God. Mofi Okwe Fun Olodumare. So what does it mean? It simply means I give thanks to God. I give thanks to God. So let's pronounce it. Mo M O Mo F I Fi O P E Okwe 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 simply means thanks. 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 That is it. That is what Okwe means. Okwe simply means thanks. Fun. Two. That's what fun means. Two, two, two. So let's join everything together. Mo fi okwe fun olodumare. It simply means I give thanks to God. You know, you don't have to rush yourself when you want to pronounce. Just take your time. Mo fi okwe fun olodumare. You know, you just pronounce it. I give thanks to God. So um, we also have Jekagba Adura. Jekagba Adura. Jekagba Adura means let pray. Let pray. So let's pronounce this Jekagba Adura. J E me J. J E me J E pronounced like this. J K E pronounce ka. G B E C simply pronounced like ba. Ba. That's how GB is pronounced. Adura. Hadura. So let's join them together. Je ka ba adura. So it simply means let's pray. Let's pray. Just take your time, don't rush your side. Je ka ba adura simply means let, let's pray. We also have adura migba. Adura migba. It simply means my prayer has been answered. Adura migba. My prayer has been answered. Adura Migba. Simply means my prayer has been answered. It just spelled Adura me. Adura is spelled A D U R A. You know, I said Adura simply means prayer. Me. M I. Me. It's just like you say me. You. M E in English. Me. Me. So in Yoruba, M I also mean me. Ba. Answered. So let's pronounce it together. Adura mi ba. My prayer has been answered. That's just it. You can do it. You're very smart and very intelligent. You can do it. As long as you can spell English, you and uh, you can spell Yoruba the way you spell English, then you'll be able to pronounce it. It's just very simple. So you also have Mofe Mumi M O space F E space M U space o m high that is number seven mofe mumi mofe mumi simply mean i want to drink water in english that's what it means a hey, john mofe mumi is it you, you are, that means it simply means you are telling john that you want to drink water a hey, alexandra mofe mumi in english you're saying a hey, alexandra i want to drink water that's just it a hey, Alexandra Mufe Mumi in English. A hey, Alexandra, I want to drink water. So we also have um number eight Joko. Joko, Joko in English means seats. Seats. J O J O K O K O. Just like you want to say Coke, but this is K O like Co 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 Co. Then the J O is Jo. Joe, like you want to say job, but now we don't have B um, at the back of the Joe, so we remove B, it's going to be like Joe. So it's just like they pronounce the Joe and K Ho together, it's going to sound like Joko. Joko simply means sit. So we also have number nine, the day, the day, D I space D E, the day. So it's just like the D I sound like. You want to say like deal or you want to say like something like dd but this is di it's, it's gonna sound like d just like you're saying uh letter d you understand it still sound like normal letter d but this is di d d d d d simply means stand the d simply means stand so the day is just like d d d e 
the pronunciation also sound like you're saying day, like how was your day? You know, the D E also sound like D. So the D I also sound like um, um, D, normal D. So using those system and um, system of pronunciations together, you can easily get the pronunciation right. Like just like okay, D I D E D day. So in English, it simply means stand. So D day simply means stand in English. D day simply mean stand in English. You also have only, only. So, you know, if you ho in Yoruba, if you want to pronounce ho in Yoruba, it's going to be like ho. It's still going to be the same ho, 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 ni, ho, ni. It's still the same ho, ho, ni. So, the N-I, if you want to pronounce the N-I, it's going to be like ni. It's just like you want to, like you spell... Okay, let, for example, let me give uh, an example for you now. Let's spell nickname. It's going to spell like this. N-I-C-K-N-A-M-E. That is the spelling of nickname, right? Then let's cancel C-K and N-A-M-E out of it. Let's erase it out of it. Then let's now leave only N-I. You know, it's going to sound like ni, ni. Ni, the C-K-N-A-M is no more there again. It's going to sound like ni. So, let's use that system of pronunciation in pronouncing oni. So, normal, normal, normal. O is O. Then we now add O with that N-I together. It's one of the pronunciation is going to be like oni. So, oni simply means today in English. So, once we can use that system of pronunciation, the way I just illustrated, then you'll be able to pronounce it. Oni simply means today. In English, only simply means today in English. So we also have Ola. Ola. So in Yoruba, Ola simply means tomorrow. That is what Ola means. In Yoruba, if you have double O, it simply means going to sound like O, O, O. Just like you're saying, uh, you want to say uh, like O in English. O, like, eh. Uh, I will, I will see you next week or maybe next month, you know, just like normal or. So this double O sound like or, sound like O out. The double O in Yoruba pronunciation sound like the way you pronounce or in English, like O out, or. So let's use that the same style of pronunciation like you want to pronounce or in English, O out, and use it to pronounce this or la. So double O. It's going to sound like O. Oh. Then the L O is going to sound like La. You know, La. What make if you, if you, if you listen to the pronunciation La, you're going to hear the pronunciation of Hell and A sound out of the La. Normal Hell is Hell, A is A, La. It's just like you want to spell Lanta, Lanta, or you want to spell Lamp. You know, if you want to spell Lamp, it's going to spell. You're going to spell it like this. L A M P, that is band of lamp. So let's remove M P out of the lamp. It's going to remain L A. So it's going to be like la la la. So let's use this same system of pronunciations with this ola to see how we're going to pronounce it. So let's use the O. O going to sound like representing ho, for example. So the la. It's going to represent, you know, la that we just remove out of the lanta. Then let's say, let's pronounce it now. Double O L A. It's going to be like, Ola. Ola. You understand? Once you can use this system, it, you, it might, you might not even be perfect at the beginning, but believe me, once you can be using those system, you'll be able to pronounce all the sentence. So it's going to be pronounced like, Hola. 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 Hola simply means tomorrow. You understand? Don't feel discouraged. It is not your language, so you are not expected to pronounce it perfectly at the beginning. You know, practice make perfect. Even when I was learning English, I also make a lot of errors. I also make a lot of mistakes of pronunciation or something like that. So as time goes on, you know, because it is a language I want to know, and it is our second language. In Nigeria, English is, English is our second language in Nigeria. 
So it is compulsory for you to know how to speak English in Nigeria because that is our second language. So I have to learn it. Then there it is. At least I'm trying. I'm, I can speak English <laughs> in my own little way of, you know, I'm trying. You understand? So and if I say I'm trying, believe me, I'm trying. <laughs> so at least I can communicate with you guys and you can understand what I'm saying. So hola simply means hola. Hola. It simply means tomorrow. That is what it means. So using the, all this aglory thing, um, the way I pronounce it, using those system of pronunciation, will make you to know how to pronounce all these things. Hola. Hola. Tomorrow. So we also have, uh, finally, we have number 12, which is Otunla. 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 So, how do we spell Otunla? Otunla is O T U N space L E. What does it mean? Next tomorrow. That's what Otunla means. Otunla means, means next tomorrow. So, how do we pronounce this Otunla? You know, the, for you to pronounce Otunla, you remember I told you, oh. Yeah. So, also in this Otunla, we have O at the beginning. Then we have T U N. So T U N. So T U N sound like tum. Like in Yoruba, O is O. So T U N. T U N sound like tum. O is O. So if you join the O with tum, it's gonna sound like O tum, O tum. So like for example, let me use the another sixteen, another style. To you know, normally we have this sentence, uh, uh, sentence uh, words in English like tum. Tune, like tune to the tune the TV stations to channels uh, so so tune the radio station to the channel so 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 so. How do we spell tune in English? It's T U N E. So now let's remove E out of the T U N E. It's going to remain tune, 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 tune. The E is not there again. Tune. So and I told you if you want to pronounce the or use that system of the way you pronounce all like o r o in english ho you know it's going to make it easy for you so now let's join the o and the t u n together it's going to sound like o tu o tu you so by the time you use those system like that you will you know accomplish you know a great result o tu then the l a is going to sound like la la like you want to spell le le you know, can you lay the mattress? Like lay spelling in English is L A Y. That is how lay spelled in English. Like, can you lay the table? Can you lay the mattress? L A Y is lay. So let's use that system of pronunciation of how we pronounce lay in English and remove Y out of it. It's going to remain L A. La. La. The reason why it's pronounced lay in English is because there is a Y. The Y have to sound out of the pronunciation Lay. So now we remove the Y. We have L A now. So let's use that system of pronunciation and pronounce this Otun La together and see how it's going to sound. So Otun La, Otun La, simply means tomorrow. You see, you're going to get it. It sounds funny though, but <laughs> believe me, <laughs> you, you know, it will sound funny, but believe me you 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 are you are driving you are arriving to you know something um, marvelous you are you are trying so otunla simply means tomorrow so um that is the last um sentence we have on the list so let me do a recap of what we have been doing since before i post this program to an end so number one we have elidomari elidomari simply means god number two we have adura adura simply means prayer in english Number three, we have Omi. Omi means water. Omi means water in English. Number four, we have Mofi Okwe Fun Oludumari. Mofi Okwe Fun Eledumari. In English, it means I give thanks to God. Number five simply means Jekaba Adura. In English, means let's pray. Number six means Adura Miba. It simply means my prayer has been answered. Number seven means mofe mu omi. In English, it simply means I want to drink water. Number eight says joko. 
in English is also mean sit. Number nine, the day. In English, it means stand. Number ten mean on only, only, only simply means today, today, today. That's what only mean. Number eleven, we have hola. Hola mean tomorrow in English. Number twelve, we have otula. Otula mean next tomorrow in English. So thank you. Our beautiful viewers, thank you for your time. We really, we really appreciate your time. We really appreciate your support because we know time is money. We're going to come to the end of the program for today. Please, please do subscribe on our YouTube channel from Virtuals to Vows 24. Search it on your YouTube channel. It's going to lead you to our YouTube channel. And please subscribe whenever we drop video. You're going to receive a notification. Also on our Facebook, please subscribe on our Facebook page from Virtuals to Vows. Please, when you subscribe, when we drop video, you will surely receive a notification that we just drop a video and follow us on TikTok. I really appreciate your time. Do enjoy your lovely day. I will love you all. Bye.